I don't get to shoot anybody ever. Like, why am I here if I'm ain't shooting people? Badger's in. Hey, how's it going? in. Hey. Oh, howdy, y'all. Oh my God. What's up? Ahem, so Cornwood. Oh. You wanted to work on legislation. Thank God he wasn't listening. All right. Hey. Oh yeah. <laughs> What kind of legislation? Uh, I think I'm gonna make it to where if you steal a police vehicle, you, you go to jail forever. Forever? Oh, yeah. I want to say I'm against this. I, I like doing that. Yeah, I think if you're stealing it, because, I mean, there was a situation today where there was like, they said it was like three hours just trying to recover police vehicles. And, and it's at the point now where it's like, it's, it's, it's it severely impeding police work. Yeah, there's like not many of you guys, so I can see why that would. That's kind of fucked. Maybe you just need to get a better security system in your cars. Yeah, I mean, true. well, I, I came up with the solution that they trunk. just. I give them the solution, they just clamp their own vehicles. Yeah, I think we're just going to start clamping Oh, that'd be them. funny. Yeah, actually, yeah. I like that. Yeah, right, because yeah, then yeah, they're yeah. the ones who can remove the clamp. That's yeah. really funny. I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, there's also some other stuff I talk about, I guess. Like, um,. Uh, now I want to I want to have something for the legislation wise, some for the the car situation if we can stealing. The other thing is kind of clarifying the other stuff before it gets passed officially. I guess it's it's I mean it's already passed, but I guess Chief Justice Crane has to okay it on his end and uh, maybe looking at a few charges, getting some charges, maybe maybe a reward or something if he's willing to do that. Wasn't there a charge that we were talking about revamping or? Yeah. The other day, I don't remember what that was. Can you just make it so none of them apply to me? Just uh, just re ahead of time. Lizzie really cool. Byrne is accepted from yep. everything. Yeah, preferably like the big ones. I, I can take some of the smaller ones. Do you want to get in the car and drive around while we're talking about this stuff? Yeah, sorry. I think, I, I think I'm want to distracting talk with us. Yeah, can... That's okay. Would you be better you that way? Yeah, yeah, I'd be able to focus better. Oh, frick. We're talking to Siobhan too late. She's going to get too high and then we can't have a proper conversation. Frick. Um, all right. I'm going to do safe. this legislation stuff with Cornwood. Thank you Thank for coming over to see my new residence. Michael, come. Come with. Michael, what are you, what are you applying for? I think, I think I'm... Secretary of Def what is it, Defense? Oh, we need to ask her when she comes back. Okay, I, I Michael, forgot. you should be able to park your car now. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't mind. It's sitting there. Okay. Well, you should put what me on the house, too. What? You should put me okay, on the Corman. house, too. Um, Corman, no. Wait, what the hell? Well, there... Corman, you don't say I love you back on the phone. What? Why? I only want people who say I love you back to me on the phone to be in my house. Oh, my God. I think that's fair. My house is filled with love. You wouldn't love even have and that if house. You don't have, if you don't have love for me, how can you be in my house? There will not be a love-filled house. You just need to admit that you said I love you back in the hospital when I was there. I will not even say that. My fucking god. This again. Siobhan, are you doing crime in there? What? No. Okay. I mean, how 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 are you supposed to help me run Corn Family Farms if I don't even have a key to the house? Oh shit. You're right. The truth is, is that if you have a key and if you're on the house, you could walk in on some things that you don't want to see Max and I doing. We do some pretty freaky shit. Yep. Yeah, nope. Oh, good point. That's really what the truth is. I don't think you want to see me naked. Wait, I'll Michael, sleep naked. Michael wants that. Michael? Huh? What? 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 I, I can, I'm completely so now from this conversation. What's going on? Michael, just say yes. Yes. Good answer. Okay. Um, what did you say about the clowns? Uh, we're going to be working with the clowns. I have to have a biz business meeting with them. But they're going to be like our worker ants. Okay. Oh, yeah. elf at the farm. Perfect. Yeah. Where the fuck did you guys get gold bars? Also, you're saying they're serialized? Aww. Yeah, serialized gold bars. We caught somebody with them. They said they work at the casino. He's just making shit up, right? He's lying. So, well, surely the cereal will come back to somebody that is proof that they they own that the gold bars, right? Right. So stuff for tomorrow. What are, what are the key things that we got to talk about? Oh, your meetings tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Is the plan PCP passes and then immediately, hey, we're gonna start the sheriff's election? Yep, yep, that's the plan. Okay. Looks so. like TJ's been working on some legislation. Yeah, that's another thing I want to talk to you about. We gotta, we gotta stop that shit. We gotta stop that shit immediately. Yeah. We I'm can't not... vote on any of that. TJ's getting a little we're bit voting, too no. big for his britches. Okay. I think he's on. big for his britches too. Cause, cause. Hold on, hold on. What is he working on? Uh, fair accountability for officials act. I was sitting there watching him type this shit up. I started hitting backspace. I was like, holy shit, what are you doing? <laughs> I just gave him one or two at some point, make, make him think he's crazy. <laughs> you, you know how you can see when, when you're looking at it, right? Go no, on. I was doing it quick. I was doing it quick. So this is basically, the purpose is to ensure sustained accountability. Basically, he's extending the statute of limitations for any council member to, to last for the entirety of their time in office. Why? There, there's no positive that comes out of this. You know, we talk about chilling effect and people trying to pull bullshit on you. I got Marlo already up my ass trying to make up bullshit, right, that we talked about. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is very clearly 
literally, like, he's setting some shit up or something. What is the purpose They already have a FAFO act. Why are they trying to make another one? Did he not pay attention to that? Oh, uh, hell, I guess not. Well, regardless of the name, though, am I wrong? Is this not stupid? This is stupid as fuck. Like, what What do we gain from this? Um, nothing. I don't, I'm, I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay, I'm not okay with this at all. In fact, I'm gonna tell you about the biggest issue I have with this, okay? This is masquerading as an act when it's actually an amendment to the Constitution. And um, that's why I, I am not for it. I cannot be for it. Not yeah. as written. It doesn't, this doesn't make our city better. If anything, it makes our lives worse and it doesn't affect the rest of the city. So why would any of us vote for that? Precisely. It's not doing our jobs. Are you talking about both or are you only talking about Fafo right now? Um, uh, I think he's just talking about fa Fafo. I don't no, like the it's other It's extending, one. it's extending the statute of limitations for three months. For, yeah, for and I'm not okay with that. For, yeah, nope, I'm not okay with that. Yeah, that's stupid shit. I feel like we're violating our own rights by doing that. Yep, we are. So no, I'm not okay with it. What else? Oh, Castle Doctrine. I want to get it in legislation that that you can you stand your ground for your property. What, what do you think? I think it depends. I think if somebody walks in your house, you should be able to shoot them. Oh, if someone walks in your house, you should absolutely, absolutely be able to shoot them. I mean, I talked to Crane about that, and that's within the stand your ground already as it's written and articulated. Okay, I want to be able to extend that to your vehicle. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Or at the very least, if somebody is stealing a police vehicle, I want to be able to shoot them. Legally. And they can't sue me for it. And then when they say, oh, my SOPs, my SOPs. I'm like, no. Nope. Your SOPs should protect you and allow for that, to be honest, because if someone is stealing a police car, they are an imminent threat to the public. Somebody sees that vehicle yes. and they think, hey, that's a police officer who can help me. Turns out it's not. Turns out it's Wingle Dad in the cop car or some shit. All right? No, someone should have been able to shoot him before it got to that point. Yes, exactly. I don't get to shoot anybody ever. Like, why am I here if I'm ain't shooting people? Legally. <laughs> You already can, and you could articulate that in a court of law, and that you. Yeah, but then everybody yells at me. Like, oh, don't do Tell that. Tell them that if they need to learn the law or get fucked. We should pass a law that says a police officer is allowed to shoot somebody committing a violent crime. Oh my god, you're wild. A police officer should be able to do his job. It should be. We should be in legislation. <laughs> oh my god, bruh. Should we do that? Bruh. Right legislation that says a police officer should be able to do, a do the your job act. police should be able to do their job. The do your job act? Yeah. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm writing it down. I mean, this could be in conjunction with a whistleblower. All right, do your job act exists. It could be in conjunction with whistleblowing. Yeah, because people don't do their jobs because they're afraid of getting in trouble. Michael, you want any input? It, it, it's very, know. there's a big slippery slope to this, I think. There is. I feel like this has been tried multiple times, but it's always failed why because uh, it's hard to articulate why you're shooting somebody and you're stealing a car i know it's dude i mean i think it's pretty easy because that vehicle that vehicle has a gun in it in the lock storage there's guns there's spike strips there's police equipment that immediately as they're in there they're impersonating a police officer and a police officer has a lot of power right and they could very i mean they're they're immediately if a police officer doesn't know how to utilize the powers that they have they're putting lives at risk right off the rip i mean this guy can turn on his lights and then locals start freaking out and they crash into somebody and somebody goes flying these through things the... Kermit, these, these these things didn't exist in the past and the pd has never been this down bad in the past either though you know what i mean like they weren't needed before like we didn't have them and the pd was better like how it you know what i mean like how are they gonna fix the issues oh they're not but i think if you tell people they can shoot somebody stealing their car it's gonna raise morale <laughs> I actually think it'll raise morale so much. Just just having the peace of mind that they can do that. Do you have to watch them drive away, or do you have to like just if you see somebody in a in a in a police vehicle and the you don't know who it is, you can just open fire. The second you bend over, I'm right center mass of your forehead. <laughs> Can we go get some food? Can we go get some overpriced energy buyers? Uh, let's go to senior runs. Like, Corn, so say somebody is driving around in a police cruiser, but they forgot to sign in. You're gonna, you know, accidentally shoot them? I'll shoot them on purpose. No, but you'll know. Because no, nobody's grabbing a police cruiser without being signed in. Except for Captain Ruth whenever she came to spy on me and Denzel. Yeah, except for that time. And you know what? God hey, damn it, you, you probably should have been able to shoot that bitch <laughs> in the face. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm allowed to say that. You're not. No, um, I am seeing you. Nah, uh, you know, I thought once I slept on it, I would be less upset, but I still understand. I still understand why Kid Archer got shot in the face. <laughs> oh yeah, Michael. Kid Archer failed to secure the scene yesterday, and um, uh, my motorcycle got towed and dumped in the sea. Why was it dumped in the sea? Because 
Kit didn't do her job. Hey, we have to make sure I can keep my council position after the sheriff's election. Gotta mm. run through administration. I'll be back in a second. Sorry, I had to think about destroying a man. What did Max do? No, 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 Max, no. Oh. No. Archie, Archie? Um, no, oh. no, no, no. A state River. judge, allegedly, though. Anyway. Okay, so I clamped the car and now it's stuck. Yeah? How does that happen? Like, uh, because the clamps are fucked. Holy shit. Can you imagine? Boom. You want me? Boom. Oh, sir, I saw you stole my car and it's not moving, huh? Bang, 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 bang. Puts gun in mouth, bang, bang, two more times. Make sure to kill you forever, yeah, bang. Huh? Sorry, I got distracted. Um, if they're stealing your car, shouldn't it be like one more for Lenny Hawk or something? Yeah, actually, it should be. It actually, should be. <laughs> Howdy on fire. Hi. Here, can we get a ride? No, Absolutely. Look, I'm gonna raise this PD's morale one way or the other. I have a way that we could raise the morale. Oh, I can Would you like to know? Leave these around. What's that? Projectile. Oh, eh, we don't need that. It's whatever. Just doing this. Someone will pick that up. If you really want to raise morale, let everybody punch the senior that's dapped them the most once a week. So that people have to think about daps. They think about getting punched before they dap. I mean, to be fair, daps aren't that much of an issue anymore except for, for Denzel. Yeah, well, I think we're really good for him. Yeah, maybe. Okay, all right. Hear me out. What about something else? What about themed police days? We should add that to the next quota. Ooh, I got an idea. I want to bring back casual Fridays. I thought casual Fridays were great. Triathlon. Yeah, why not? Triathlon would be good. Oh shit. I wanted to go over, well, this ain't important for y'all. I wanted to go over the things I wanted to change in the uh, sheriff's office. So how's that gonna go? Election starts tomorrow. Oh, hey, we- Election we, for what? I think Crane has to post the uh, applications to on the government website tomorrow. Like get okay. that figured out. Have election start on like Saturday or something. So there's like four days for people to do it and then, yeah.